Hey girls, hey. I came in right quick to show you guys my um, caddy and some of my best stuff that I'm using right now for my skin. And I put it up here so you guys can see it. I bought this caddy from Target and um, I think it was made by Soho, I think at Target. Um, and these are some of my favorite things that I picked up. And these are now my staples that I use in my beauty box and some of my everydays. Um, this right here is simply the uh, Photo photo Finish Primer Water by Smashbox. Um, I did some research on this on YouTube, and I love it. I don't wear makeup that often, so you see why it's still really full. Um, I love it. Um, this is um, Her Styler Argon Oil Hair Serum. Um, my sissy um, Loretta sent me two of these. Oh, my God. I love, 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 love it. Um, um, this is real game for women. I love this stuff. And especially, you know, cause your hair is going to thin. I mean, let's, you know, most of us are going to get it at some point in time and I'm starting to notice, you know, but I'm also starting to know some, notice some results. So this is real game for women. I love that stuff. Um, I cleanse my face with this, um, um, Messalar cleansing water or, that's the way I call it. I don't know if that's the right term for it or not. But it's an all-in-one. It removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. Cleanses, refreshes, no rinse, no harsh rubbing. For face, lips, and eyes. For all skin types, even sensitivity. It's made by Garnier. And it's skin active. I love this stuff. Oh, my God. And it has a oil and water base in there. And you'll see, like, at the top, it has, like, for the oil. So I shake it at first, and then it becomes more, like, opaque. And then that's when I know that it's ready. And then I use this with cotton swab, hit it across my face to cleanse my face before I use, um like my um, crystal lift to do my microdermabrasion. I do that earlier in the daytime. So when I get in the sauna at night, um, I've done that early already. So my skin kind of settled down and, you know, opens up and everything with the heat of the sauna and kind of settles it down. But before I do my microdermabrasions or even when I use my Lemure, where is it? Oh, it's right here. When I use my Lemure right here, um, and I want to cleanse my skin before going in the sun and all that stuff. And when I use it, sometimes I cleanse my face with this first. Um, this one here, this is um, one of the best of the best body oil by Neutrogena. And um, this is a sesame seed oil. The smell is, oh my God. You guys saw that I had posted this on Instagram and on my Facebook and stuff a couple weeks ago. I think, or was it last week, and I had went on a coupon haul, um, and it was buy one, get one 50% off, and I think if you bought $15 worth, or maybe it was $25 worth, then you got back, like, um, um, rewards on my, um, Rite Aid, and so I had bought a whole bunch of, and plus I had coupons to boot to go on top of the sale, so I got a lot of that stuff, and I love it. Um, girls, let me tell you something. This antioxidant Hydra Mist right here by Dermalogica. If you don't get on and it's anti-age, look. First of all, let me go and tell you that it's going to set you back $42, $41. I bought this at Ulta, okay? When I tell you I love, love, love this right here, let me tell you something. You can refresh your face throughout the daytime. You can set your makeup. In the morning times, like, I do my rituals at night, okay? I do my rituals at night. I don't put this on at night because I've already done sealed my face. I done did red light therapy. I done done all these different things. I don't do this. In the morning when I wake up after all this stuff done set on my face all night, I wake up in the morning, my face feeling so good, it's feeling so flawless and so soft and all that old type of shit, right? When I go in and I brush my teeth and I just wet my face with just cool water to just wash my face, pat it dry. Then I come through and I spritz my face, a couple of spritz, maybe two or three, with this. But now that I love this so much... I'm not getting ready to just keep spritzing all over my face and using up my product. That's what I'm not going to do. I'm going to spritz a little bit of this. My hands are already clean. And then the rest of it that's already spritzed all over, now I'm just getting ready to rub it all in my face. Then after I do that, I take my Janu. Because I don't use my Lemure 
as far as setting, um, as far as infusing, I do use it, but not on my face as much. I use this like on my scalp, on my scars, all kinds of different stuff. I only use this for like cleansing and, you know, sloughing off and, you know, cleansing out my pores and such. So, but... When I'm infusing, I infuse on my face with this guy right here. So after I've spritzed my face, I put a little bit of my Spectro on this. And then I just go in circular motions. This is on a timer for three minutes. After you've done in circular motions for three minutes, it automatically shuts off. And it's going to seal in all the benefits from my Dermalogica Hydra Mist Spritz. Girls, let me tell you something. Holler back at me in about a month or so and see where my skin is at. Now, I've been doing these rituals here now. And what I do is I don't see my calendar. But on my calendar, I should have had it out. On my calendar, I don't have it over here. But on my days, on my calendar, I write down what my facial rituals are. And I put, um, like, at the bottom of the calendar... Like, I'll have, like, derma, microdermabrasions are identified by yellow. Um, my Lemure is identified by purple. My uh, Janu is identified by pink. And this one is, say, identified by orange or whatever, right? So then, therefore, on specific days, I mark on the calendar on which days I use them. So then, therefore, it doesn't become redundant. And then, therefore, I can still get in my two to three um, usages, uh, uses per week. And I'm not overlapping itself or giving my skin too much to digest, if that makes sense. So that's the way I'm doing mine. But we're going to look back throughout the spring and see, is the products working? Am I doing too much? If I need to start pulling back on the different things that I'm using. And we're going to just kind of gauge it and see how it goes. But inside of our health and beauty segments, excuse me, for women of color, we're going to try different things, girls. We're going to try what works for us. I'm going to try what works for me and what works for my skin, but I'm also going to give you insight on different products that are out there, different products that you might want to buy, different products that you might want to try, or even go down there and see if they can give you a sample of it and just kind of see what you want to go with. Now, what where I'm trying to go with my skin is I just want to be able to use a nice tinted moisturizer in the summertime, nothing heavy, just something to just to give me a little something, something. But you can tell that my skin is flawless up under it all. I don't want a mask. I don't want a real thick cake of makeup with all this eyeshadow and this, this, this. It gets too hot in Southern California. I don't want all that on my face. I want a real nice clean canvas. And just a little something, something to just kind of give me a little bronzy, like a little dewy something, something. So I'm going to ask that you guys help me out on what's a good um, moisturizing tinted cream that um, for sensitive skin that I might want to try. So if you guys can leave your comments below and just kind of give me some ideas on different ones that I can try that are pretty good, pretty decent affordable not so much over the top i don't wear it all the way a lot 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 and i probably won't even use it until it ends so just kind of keep that in mind but i do want a good quality product on that note family i love you girls i love you guys for watching and coming through you guys take care and have a good weekend bye